Welcome to our lecture online. Many of us probably remember reading a comic book or a cartoon or something like that where we see people walking through the desert and they're really thirsty, they're almost dying of thirst and they look in the distance and they see something that looks like a lake and as they walk towards it, it looks like the lake keeps moving away from them and they always keep seeing it there and that's what we call a mirage because there's really not a lake there. And of course, if you're not familiar with the desert and this happens to you, it could be very dangerous. You might just go ahead and collapse from exhaustion, never reaching that mirage that looks like a lake. But what is it? What causes that mirage? Well, it has to do with the index of refraction and what happens to light when it goes from one index of refraction to another index of refraction. And what we just need to know is that there can be two situations. Either light comes from a low index of refraction and goes to a high index of refraction, or goes from a high index of refraction and goes to a low index of refraction. In the first case, when we go from low to high, the light will bend towards the normal. So if we draw a perpendicular line, notice that the direction of the light changes more towards the perpendicular. But if the light goes from a high index of refraction to a low index of refraction, then you can see that the light will bend away from the normal. It will bend in the opposite direction. So what happens? Well, most of us probably never experienced something like this before, but we may have experienced something like this before, because when you drive a car on a very hot day, when the road is very hot, what happens is the air just above the road gets very, very hot. The hot road causes the warm air to exist right above it, which means that the air here is less dense. And air that's less dense has a smaller or lower index of refraction. So in this case, air that comes from the sky, as it goes closer and closer to the road ahead of us, when it reaches that hot region of air right above the road, it then goes from what we call a high index of refraction to a low index of refraction and the light will do something like this. So the light begins to bend in this direction because the index of refraction diminishes as you get closer and closer to the road. And so therefore the light comes this way and then eventually we are able to see that light instead of coming from the sky directly this way, it appears to be coming from the road on up. And this here kind of looks like water on the road. But as we keep driving, that keeps moving away from us, just like a mirage in the desert. So essentially, this is exactly the same as a mirage. And what we're seeing here is we're actually seeing the sky kind of being reflected off the road. Well, it's actually the light coming from the sky that looks like the sky, just simply bending. And so we're looking down here, seeing the sky that looks like water shimmering over the road. And that's exactly what a mirage is. And that's why when you try to get closer, it keeps moving away because this relative angle keeps moving. So the car never gets any closer. The angle, the position of this will always be about the same distance away from where you are and you can never quite reach it. So the next time you walk through the desert and you think you see a lake, make sure there's palm trees around it because palm trees would not be reflected from the sky and then you're sure, eh, kind of sure, that there's actually an oasis there with real water because this would be a big disappointment if you run into something like that. It's a mirage.